Hi, everybody. This is your girl, Bella J. And of course, it is Moo Time. Yes, and I want to welcome all my new subbies, all my new lovelies. Welcome to my channel. So the disclaimer for this session right now, explicit, very adult-oriented. And if you already know my channel, then you know what this is about to go down. I got my first sex Q&A. Um, MTA, the public transportation system here in the city. So this is what we're going to be talking about. A young lady posed a question to me. This has to do with her friend and about threesomes. Yes, it literally goes that way. Her friend is now married. Prior to them getting married, her husband, her fiance, prior to getting married when he was the fiance, he wanted to engage in a threesome. She was not prepared. She was not ready. She was not comfortable, whatever the case may be. I don't know the whole story. However, she agreed to do it after they got married. Now that they're married, I'm not sure how long they've been married. He's posing the question again. He wants to get, he wants to do a threesome. This is what he wants to do. He wants to get freaky deaky. He wants to bring another female into the room. Fine. She did say that she would do it after they got married, right? So the problem I'm having here is because more to the story is he wants to bring the girl. The girl is an old friend of his from his childhood. I believe she's from another country. I'm not sure where he's from or what state or wherever she's from. It's his childhood friend. How much of a childhood friend and whether or not they had sex, that is my biggest question. Why are you so willing to bring this other female that you know and I don't know into the bedroom, into our bedroom to engage in a threesome? I have a problem with that. So I'm going to answer this question. I don't think that it's one thing that you want to try the threesome. If you are down, you already told him yes and you want to do it to please him, I believe you should choose the person. You should choose the female or ask him, let's choose a man. I'm just saying, he wants to choose the female. How about I choose the man? Pose that question and see how he likes it. I'm a territorial fe I'm a territorial female and I tried that threesome with another female and I wanted to murder her. It didn't even fully go down correctly. I ended up, I had the biggest attitude. The night was blown. She tried with me. I didn't like it. I was, I just couldn't do it. It was not within me at all. Now, I did try in my mid-20s with another guy. The funny thing about it is that my friend Patrick wanted his cousin to be down with it. When it came time down, when it came time for it to go down, he told Patrick, he, Patrick told Stephen, you can't touch her from the waist down. So Stephen had no access from the waist below. He could touch me up here, but he couldn't have me below. I thought that was hilarious. So... I thought that was the best threesome ever because I really didn't, I didn't have two guys in me. So I don't know what that feels like, nor do I want to know what it is. I am not trying to revisit um, that era in my life, okay? Back to you. I think that you should choose the person. If he's talking about having another female in the room, maybe you should pick that person. I believe strongly you should. So that way you can have some control over the situation and you can say what and what cannot be done. Maybe she's allowed to give him head but not have sex with him. Maybe um, she can be for you only and not for him. I believe that you should set the ground rules. You are a woman, hear me roar set the ground rules for this threesome. And if you are not comfortable with it, then you tell them, I am sorry, I apologize, but I'm still not comfortable. We're gonna have to wait it out. Another suggestion could be, maybe you uh, can attend a swingers party. They do have swingers party and maybe you're comfortable with you and him involved with another couple. That is so much, I've heard a lot of things about it. I've seen it on um, that sex show that they had on eight, one of the, one of the cable channels has the sex. It has sex, everything, years on sex and all of this information. They do have swingers parties. From my understanding here, NYC is called the Carousel Club. I don't know whether it's still in existence, but it's very private and there is rules. But if you Google it up, swingers party NYC, you should be able to find it, okay? Or whatever state you're in. It is out there. I'm sorry to put it out there. I'm not trying to promote for them at, at all, but that Carousel Club used to be posted in the Village Voice. That's where you can find everything. What I'm saying is, please tell your friend 
she needs to really set the ground rules for this, whether or not she could do it or not. And if she's willing, then she needs to she needs to pick the person. I don't think him choosing this person is a wise idea. I see something bad happening. I see something negative occurring, and it might be the end to their relationship because I don't like anyone pressuring me into doing something that I don't I don't want to do. And trust and believe, I'm not with my ex anymore. The one who brought the girl, we are not together. And it that wasn't what damaged it. There was other little factors involved that damaged the relationship, but having someone else in your bedroom can really hinder it. You have to have a real strong relationship, a strong bond that that's not going to come in between you. But him willing, ready and able, and bringing someone from his past into this relationship to have a threesome is a problem for me. I'm not having that. And I don't think you should either. You want to do it, you bring the person, truthfully. You want to try swingers? Maybe that'll be interesting. I don't know what your level is or where you want to go. Maybe you don't want to do anything. And if he's bugging you for that, then you really need to really look at this relationship and see where is it going. Because if he's going to keep pestering you every year to have a threesome, it's a problem. Because then what happens if you do it? Now, what happens if you do like the, like the girl and you want to be with girls? How's that going to make him feel? Maybe you don't want to deal with men anymore. I'm just saying. What if there was another guy into it? And let's say that guy pleased you. What's he going to do? How's he going to handle it? See, men don't understand that. They don't realize what the repercussions are. They're down for it and everything. But you don't know what's going to happen after all is said and done. Think about it. Really, really think about it. This is a move, move. I'm telling you because I know how it affected me. Me and Steven and Patrick didn't have a problem. Did I eventually have sex with Steven? Sure, I did. The day that Patrick left, he was downstairs packing. Steven wanted to know why his cousin could not, why he could not touch me. I gave it to him. It was good. It was not bad. Had his knees shaking. But I was in my mid-20s. I'm 40. I'm just saying, I'm 43 now. That shit is not going to happen. And as far as that girl, I've never seen that girl again. And nor do I see my ex anymore that brought that stupid little chick here. I just felt it was an invasion of my home and my territory. And I'm not having it. So before you get involved with anybody, before you really make that commitment with any man, please really think about it and really know where you stand with certain issues, certain freaky deaky ways, and whether or not you are down for the cause or not. And if you are not, you stand by your guns. Do not let anyone talk you into doing something that you don't want to do. Point blank. Trust and believe. I will never forget that night with my ex and that girl. I don't, um, I learned the hard way. I don't hold no grudge. I'm, I, you know, yeah, I really want to smack her still because it's, it is what it is. Will I ever do that again? The answer is no. Would I ever be involved with a swingers couple? The answer is no. I'm very monogamous and I really want my own man. That's just it. Whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to do with him. I don't want no one else in the room. If that's the case, then we don't need to have that. I'm just not down for that and I'm not there yet. I don't know. That shit just makes me antsy. It makes me itchy and everything. Let me know what you think about this and let me know. Leave your comments down below. And what do you think she should do? Should she get involved or should she not? Should she bring the person to the um to the bedroom or would you rather him do it? I mean, really think about it. I just don't think that he should bring the girl. It's a problem with me. It's a lot of alarms are ringing. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Of course, leave your comments below. I would love to read them. And if you have any questions that you want to pose to me, my email address is below. Send me an email and give yourself a, um, an alias, a pseudo name, something else that you want to go by so that way I can answer your question on air. Bye.